So I'm on my way up. And hopefully it leads us to our abandoned home site. There it is. 76, we can't see the numbers. I actually think it's a draw pole a scutcheon. So the knob would go right on top maybe. That's fantastic. Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. So I've been walking for about 15 minutes and I stopped because this one rock was like an island outside of all this crap here. It looks like it had been logged recently, you know, a five year window and it's just three feet of grass out there. So I'm on my way up to the backside of this small mountain because a couple of years ago, we were on the other side. And you can see what I'm working with here, navigation-wise, well, this is fun. As I go looking for a colonial home site, should be a cellar hole. Oof. So when we were on the other side, we believed that there was another site. The one I'm looking for now, but we could not get past the tip, the top, the rock barrier. So today, I'm here to do it from this side. Okay, so I'm breaking out of the logging mess. They absolutely just destroy the landscape makes it hard to read the old landscape. So here we go. We got wall. It's a cross wall. It doesn't look like it's been logged on that side, which let's hope that's the case because I think that's where we're going. There's some more signs. Stacked rocks, colonial art. So we're going to follow this wall. And hopefully it leads us to our abandoned home site. Might be a lip in there. Wow, this is one of the largest downed birch trees I've ever seen. It's like a foot and a half in diameter at the base. All right, let's get through here. There it is. It did in fact exist. Public land, open space, hopefully it hasn't been dug. It was, it was a 30 minute walk. So I'm guessing a mile and a half at that speed. Well, looks good so far. I'll tell you, I was worried about it being out in the open for the fact that it would have been a mess and it's uh, 91 degrees so it is hot all right let's turn it on see what's in the ground First button. A slightly offset shank, that's always cool. That looks to be about the right period. 1700s, 1800, right around there. All right, good. Loud. See a mangled link. Could have been round too at one point. Just crushed. Well, that explains the volume of the signal. Mm. 
Oh, cool button. Whoa, wait till you see this one. How's that for all kinds of fancy? Nice. And so here's the interesting observation. So when I first walked in, I looped the cellar hole. Nothing but nails. If you're gonna get to a site that hasn't been touched, you're gonna find a button within minutes. I mean, two minutes. You know within 10 minutes if it's been hit or not. I didn't find anything, and so I came right down into the side yard here, because there's a little threshold stone off the side of the house. This is nice and clean, and two buttons in two minutes. So, if somebody was here a long, long time ago, because there's no dig holes up there, uh, they just worked a lip. They didn't even bother to walk over here, so. That's where I stand with my thoughts on this site so far. Low numbers, but solid. Hmm. That's a once in a while find. Coal. Here's a interesting signal in between this stuff seventy six if you can't see the numbers oh, roots oh. wow if that is a button that Beautiful. Look at that. Actually, it's pretty heavy. Let me give it a brush. Look at that. I actually think it's a draw pull, a scutcheon. So the knob would go right on top, maybe. Because it's thick. Too thick to be a button, I think. Either way, that's fantastic. And again, remarkably back here, minutes, nothing around the lip. I will check it again, obviously. But those three great targets have taken me 10 minutes. So there could be anything back here. That is what's left of a pewter button. Very good. Well, that's a rather squeaky one, so not sure. Oh, awesome. Very awesome. You know what that is? That is the part for your thumb when you would open a door. I don't know what technically it's called thumb latch, thumb something or other. I love these things. Iron. And you know it's it's quite surprising that we don't actually find more of these. The footprint of this house is huge. This was a large colonial two-story think how many doors were in this house but then again we don't know the demise and uh you know what happened after abandonment if people came through and took fixtures hardware anything they could pull off that was reusable but that's awesome cool that's why we go for those iffy signals an encouraging signal so for your curiosity 
value I'm about 40 feet off the cellar hole and you can see that the see it's kind of thick in here confirmation somebody definitely dug here a while ago because there's iron on one of the rocks near me beautiful flat button that's another beauty God, this old stuff is awesome, isn't it? Alright. No idea. Serve purpose. Hole on that side. Pin on this side. Part of something that was in a larger hole back when it was what it was complete. So I just took 15 minutes, went all the way out around the cellar hole and then around into the outside perimeter, those side yards, nothing. Came back over here, signal. So that is the report on this site. Another piece of what I dug a little bit ago. And there is, in fact, two made holes in it. Old metal, but who knows what its purpose was. 43. Well, as you can see, I'm trying to fan out on my final sweep here to where it just becomes jungle and I got a signal but you know what's crazy about this and I always think about it while I'm out here I'm working this small little quarter acre of land where the house was but this was probably 50 to 100 acres of farm think of what is out there that because it was logged we're not getting near it in this lifetime you know there's stuff out there. Ah, oh, more of that metal. It almost looks like flashing, but it's... Like I said, that other first piece had a pin in it, not only just a hole. But... Huh. It ain't flashing. It's different than flashing. Alright. Last pass. And nothing. Still, overall, that was a good hunt. But again, interesting with what we learned about the conditions. The cellar hole, clean iron floor. It would have been no problem picking stuff out of the iron. Just not there. Just whoever had been here, worked that, didn't walk down over here. That's fine with me, right? All right, I'm going to get out of here because we have a tropical storm coming up the East Coast. It's supposed to be here within two hours. I know it looks good out now. So I've just been paying attention to the breeze coming out of the south and watching the sky. And I want to get out of here before, you know, it gives me a bath. All right, everybody, get out and explore your world. Save some history, and we'll see you all very soon. Until next time, enjoy your not Thursday.